Hi friends, uh, Lakshmi Deepak here and in last tutorial we discussed about how to access a component inside a lightning application and how to preview the component and the next one we discussed about how to pass a parameters uh, I mean parameter values to the component using application and passing parameters to the application using URL this is what we discussed last time and we will see something new today by using a JavaScript. I mean, displaying an output of input on click of button. We need to display as a output. So for that, we will see. I'm just opening Developer Console now. I'm just creating a component uh, with the Lightning component. demo 4 I'm just submitting so I'm building my component first I need an interpreter output so I need an input attribute I mean I don't want it here and uh, let me declare UI input text aura id equal to emp name and what we can see lib equal to by name so now I'm keeping a placeholder. PLDC placeholder. Yeah. Enter. Employ name. So this is my input component. So I'm creating output for this. I mean, I need to view the output how it looks. So I'm creating a lightning application lightning application which is tag under the app underscore it can be anything now for a naming convention so just making the same now I'm accessing my component inside this so enter employee name yes we have this so um, so if you see here, uh, here I provided employee name, but in output we didn't see any that employee name. The problem here is it is a Aura is in case sensitive. You have to follow this naming conversions. I didn't make any changes. I just made capital L to small L. Now I'm previewing the output. So now you understand the uh, case sensitivity. It is a high case sensitive. Okay, as like Java so you have to be more aware while doing anything so whenever you are expecting I mean if you get into any issue or any debugging issue first you have to look first priority to check out the naming conventions whether we followed the proper or is there any issue we met and the next one I need to keep a button so now I keep UI So now you can see here is uh, UI button. For button, we need to provide ID aura ID equal to UI button, and I need to provide the label click. Click me, okay. Let me put click me, that's fine, I think and again I need to put some uh, help text like uh, title of the button it's button T -I -T -L -D, button title enter employee name enter enter employee name display as output and next I need to put 
label label I already put I think on okay I need to put press event and I will declare this event later okay for handling I need to create a UI output UI output output text aura id equal to emp out value equal to value equal to null so now let me check so if you see output of demo 4 So click me we have and we have entered employee name display as output this is we will say that button title and if I entered anything if I click I need to display as a now we get error because press event have no function so it's our time to declare the press event functionality so what we can do exactly here is click on control here in the aura controller okay let it make the same where input name input emp equal to component dot so all details you will get from component component dot find we have to find the aura id find dot get what we have to get v dot value value of the component v dot value what is the component we need to get here we need to get a component of emp name it's an id finding so what we can do put v dot emp id it's an id finding and what we need to do get we need to get an output variable finding so we need to get the output to so emp out emp i can take out emp and i will take emp out is an id of the element so i will take emp out then what i will do out emp so don't mind i'm just going out emp dot set so always we can set the values the way we did so all we need set of v dot value of v dot value with input emp action is passed so now the issue how to access this action all we need my action is an action of a job controller so in the press event in the press event with the formula expression with the formula expression it should be a c dot not v dot it should be because it is a controller it should refer as c dot on save i just saved my application controllers i'm just previewing my demo this method is called alert I'm fine I don't know what happened I'm just checking out I'm fine yes so before it was not updated I think Deepak It's uh, just a debugging. You can also use console.log. Console.log. You can also use console.log to check out output. Uh, fine in calling. You can also use console.log and uh, once you, I mean, let me refresh. I need to update the preview again. Update preview. Inspect elements. Here you can see console data. Here there is no event. If I put debug, if I click, see, I'm fine in calling. So even you can put a debugging statements with using console.log and you can verify any console elements.
hope guys thanks for your time and uh, i will come up with the next solution next video on base how to connect to the salesforce object with lightning and how to get a data how to create a data records in salesforce system from a like using lightning component thanks for watching please go and subscribe my channel for future updates thank you very much have a great time bye bye